it's it's funny, but it has been. Cha- I have to say, it's been challenging um, because she is very adamant in her beliefs, and um, like I said, she is on the she's on the autism spectrum, but she's you know got some really strong uh, abilities and skills. But somehow she fell into this whole Trump. Obs- I, I don't want to call it an obsession, and I have respect for her and her beliefs. But it, and we have rules where we don't talk about it when we're together. They're not really rules. She just knows, you know, we disagree. We're just not going to talk about it. So anyway, so that's been funny. And the podcast is just kind of, I think I reached out to you. I don't know how we've ended up reconnecting in the last, you know, six months. Well, I saw your, well, we're friends on Facebook. Right. We're friends on Facebook. Yeah. Remind me. It was my birthday. Right. Okay. You had gone to Dallas right around my birthday, and then you posted on my page, and I said, hey, I'd love to learn more about your advocacy work. And like you, I've just been recently introduced to podcasts, and I love it because it's an uplifting way to get my fix of the news without being plugged into all the negativity, which really, really drains me. And so that's when you you approached me and asked if you could interview me as a mother. And I said, why didn't you interview Justin? <laughs> and, so there, you know, it kind right. of from there. So I'm so glad we picked up the phone and have gotten to know one another. And now we speak regularly. And um, I'd like to uh, just tell you, I think your podcast is awesome. I listen whenever I can. And I, I just really am proud of you. And I think that you're doing some amazing work. So good luck at the marathon. Oh, thank weekend. you. And whatever I can do to help you bring more runners and awareness to the, the sports side of uh, TSD fundraising, I'm happy to do that. I, I will never run. But I walk. <laughs> you don't have to. That's what I tell people. People are like, oh, I just, I can only run this or that. I'm like, I don't, you know, it, who cares? Yeah, you know, that's just my, like, I, I hate to say I've done it for so many years that yeah. it, it's almost <laughs> like second nature. And the, and I just, with the podcast, I I think anybody who wants to talk on the podcast is welcome. I think we're, there's so many people that are affected, even not necessarily uh, the people that have it, though I, I think they have the the most insight because they actually have the condition. And a lot of times we forget to listen to them. We forget to listen to the parents and the people that are really in the trenches. And we get the person, we see all these doctors and professionals. And sometimes I think, and I think they're wonderful and amazing. And I've learned so much, but we forget that we, we actually have a lot of knowledge ourselves and we have a lot of experience that can be valuable. And I think that's part of my motivation too, is to get, mom's talking you know how was this for you how did this met how was the experience of this medication how was the experience of your diagnosis you know let's just get this stuff out there it feels it feels uh like uh, therapeutic in some ways and educational to hear everybody's story and every i have to tell you Darina, everybody i have in the podcast i just am in awe of their of their life story and i feel like i have a new friend after i do the interview with them even though i i it's, phys- it's almost impossible to keep up with everybody all the time. Uh, I just, I do want everybody to know on the podcast and um, out there in the TSC world how much respect and love I have for um, everybody's different paths and the challenges that are presented daily, in and out, all the time with this yeah. condition. So, well, yeah, that's my I, whole sh- I, spiel. I really see you shining a very, very long ray of light on this dark subject because it isn't easy and it is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It is, you know, daily stuff, dealing with the doctor or the pharmacy, getting the right medication, dealing with the insurance company or sitting on the floor and crying with your kid, I'm sure, as they're having, having seizures. You know, it's physically demanding going through going through this i mean of course my son is high functioning but for those parents that are dealing with you know kids who really have an awful lot of manifestations my heart goes out to them and thank you for yeah jarena and that's another point world you know i think it does you know i think no matter how your child is affected or whoever your loved one that has tsc is affected uh, whether it's mild or, you know, severe, of course, it, it's a, it's a different game when it, you, there's more involved, but we're all on this, you know, 
connected in some way and in, in dealing with this condition. So I, I just want to tell parents, you know, don't ever not think that your story matters because they all matter. They all matter. And like, yeah. I really am grateful to you for uh, ju- letting, you know, talking to me about Justin, because that's kind of where it took off was Justin coming on the show and on the podcast and sharing in such a brave and strong way. And I think you've done a great job as a mother and an advocate for uh, your own work with. Um, well, let me just tell you. The, yes, the, please. The, the walk for the out of the darkness was this past Sunday and it was really very powerful. Justin was not able to come, but he was there in spirit. His brother came down and her dad was also Julie's dad was also there. We raised $28,000, our little town of Brookfield. And then I actually got asked to be on the board of directors for the Connecticut chapter for the American foundation for suicide prevention, AFSB. And I guess I'll be headed down to Dallas for four days to really get entrenched in the advocacy work and get educated about preventing suicide. So kind of excited. And I. Yeah. And I, I just have to touch back to um, your own experience just a little bit with um, the mental health piece with, you know, Justin, perhaps dealing with the weight of the diagnosis and, and your, um, passion for this this work i i just that's awesome and out of the darkness is tell me a little bit exactly what that what that represents well you know what's really cool one table they have are all these different beads and they represent different colors so one i believe the green was for personal struggle and then there's another one for losing a parent or losing a sibling and you know what? We've had one suicide per year at least in our town. And oh it's goodness. really been powerful. Teachers, parents, siblings, you know, par- uh, one parent left three children behind and, and some grandchildren. And then this year, same thing. Another parent, um, left behind three, three children and one child had already lost her life three years prior. Uh, and just the pain that comes with suicide. So for me, you know, I don't want to be that parent who's walking after the fact. I am here to use my voice and to do whatever it is that I can to prevent my daughter or my child, my children, whoever. And and really, it's not about my kids. It's the larger picture, which is why I'll be going to Dallas and D.C. and Hartford to, you know, do the advocacy work, pass the laws so that we can help, you know, stop people from falling through the cracks. It's not a terrible thing to tell somebody that you are depressed. We need to stop the stigma. And that's really my mission. And I'm proud of my daughter for using her voice and also for Justin. I think that takes an awful lot to admit that you've tried to commit suicide. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And I think that with the world. It's, yeah, it's so powerful. And I, I, it also reminds me about, uh, the aspect of tuberous sclerosis called, uh, I have to mention this. It's called TAND. That's the acronym, acronym. And it's tuberous sclerosis associated neuropsychiatric disorders. Uh-huh. And they found that there's such a high correlation uh, among the population with TSC that has some sort of neuropsychiatric disorder and I know in in my kids uh, that's been difficult Um, myself I've struggled with depression um, and I think my passion is with the podcast too is to raise awareness of the behaviors that start early and a lot of the TSC kids diagnosed that if you can get on top of the behavioral um, aspects of TSC early, it can, it's much easier than if it goes unchecked, you know, and, and my son who's 17, there was a period of time when uh, he was having these behaviors and acting out in school and aggressive and angry. And he was just a little kid on a bunch of meds. We didn't know what to do. It was just trial and error. And now there's this body of literature to support the fact that this is part of the TSC um, manifestations and diagnosis. And let's get the word out there that, you know, when the kid starts with these behaviors, that you need to take this this information to uh, your doctor and get uh, get plugged in with the, the mental health help you need, behavioral support, which is difficult. It's easier said than done. 
So I, part of my mission, too, is spreading the word about TSC and TAND and behaviors in the TSC population. And um, that's probably one of the most actually can be the most challenging aspect. We don't want to see our kids, um, like you said, with Justin to to we don't want it to be after the fact. And I can tell you on the other side of, of my son could be extremely aggressive and coming after me physically. Um, I don't I I when I hear parents you know, on Facebook boards or wherever starting to post about their kids, you know, aggression and, you know, behaviors or whatever it is that's presenting related to the neuropsychiatric aspect. I try to encourage them as soon as possible to raise uh, raise a red flag and get the help they need because letting it go and um, there there is support out there now. There's starting to be more support for this. So, yeah, that's my uh, spiel on that. And you know, Jarena, well, yeah, thanks I, for uh, bringing that up. I am just recalling that this actually happened this week. Two things. Justin's going to be headed to Indonesia in January for a three week class with his pharmacy group. Oh, that's phenomenal. So we're excited about, but he also was asked to be part of the junior TS Alliance. So I'm thrilled because he'll be able to do a lot of advocacy work, you know, in his early twenties. <sighs> Make a difference. So Keith Hall is, I'm sure, guiding him. Right. Um, you know, doing that work. So super proud. And I will absolutely discuss with him about the TAND. And, and we've even talked just recently, you know, he's under a lot of pressure with school and I can see that, you know, he's got, he's got anxiety. So I'm going to bring in that uh, TAND that you just talked about. Oh, good. Aware of it. So. Excellent. It just, yeah, just one, one person at a time that knows about it, I think is how it's going to work. Like everything, you know, like your work with the uh, suicide prevention, just raising our voices. So, yeah. yeah. So we each have our journeys. I'm so glad our paths have crossed. Me too. And I know that they're going to pass many, many, many more times. <laughs> I hope so. The start of the journey. So, um, how can we, are we able to watch a video of the of the race or you, just uh, you know what I will um I'll try to post some stuff on my Facebook page as well as um you know in the Facebook tuberculosis alliance groups there's an app that you can download and track the runners it's called Motigo we okay. don't have it set up yet for the team but we're working on that uh let's see and, it's Saturday, and Sunday course- Donations? How can we all make? Uh, you can make donate. You know what? As far as myself, I would prefer you just donate to the overall um, TS Alliance at this point. But okay. I, I wanted this to be more about the um, the team and the, as far as myself than myself. So you know, you can mail your checks to the TS Alliance in um, I believe they're in um, Maryland, uh, mm-hmm. Silver Springs, Maryland, and mark the donation Team TSC. Um, that's one way. Uh, you can reach out to me on my website, which is part of uh, my Facebook, TSC Talks. Just look it up, TSC Talks. I'm also on Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Stitcher on podcast, TSC Talks. So um, that's... So we, you can incorporate all those links at the bottom. Yes, I will podcast. try to... I'm trying to get all the information from each podcast up on the Facebook page. I'm, you know, having some of, somewhat of a time crunch, but that is in the process. So, yeah, I will put some information up about the um, marathon and, and contri- contributions to the TS Alliance. So... All right. Well, you know I'm there in spirit. Yes, walking, I do. Not ready. <laughs> Just say a prayer, send some positive vibes to the universe, because I, I am nervous. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely will. You're gonna okay. Have, well, you know what? You're going to have a great time, and you know you're there doing the work you're meant to do in the world, and that's what, what matters. It'll Thanks. pull you through. You're going to do great. Thanks, Doreen, and so. thanks for uh, interviewing me. Okay. All right, All right take have care. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. All right.